In association football, the formation describes how the players in a team are positioned on the pitch. Different formations can be used depending on whether a team wishes to play more attacking or defensive football. Formations are used in both professional and amateur football matches. In amateur matches, however, these tactics are sometimes adhered to less strictly due to the lesser significance of the occasion. Skill and discipline on behalf of the players is also needed to effectively carry out a given formation in professional football. Formations need to be chosen bearing in mind which players are available. Some of the formations below were created to address deficits or strengths in different types of players. Nomenclature Formations are described by categorizing the players according to their positioning along the pitch, with the more defensive players given first. For example, 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 means 4 defenders, 4 midfielders, and 2 forwards. Traditionally those within the same category would generally play as a fairly flat line across the pitch, with those out wide often playing in a slightly more advanced position. In many modern formations this is not the case, which has led to some analysts splitting the categories into separate bands, leading to four or even five numbered formations. A common example is for a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3, where the midfielders are split into two defensive and one offensive player. As such this formation can be considered a kind of 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3. The numbering system was not present until the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 system was developed in the 1950s. Choice and uses of formations The choice of formation is often related to the type of players available to the coach. Narrow formations Teams with a surfeit of central midfielders, or teams who attack best through the center, may choose to adopt narrow formations such as the 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 or the 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 which allow teams to field up to four or five central midfielders in the team. Narrow formations however depend on the fullbacks to provide width and to advance upfield as frequently as possible to supplement the attack in wide areas. Wide formations Teams with a surfeit of forwards and wingers may choose to adopt formations such as 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1, 3 a Euro 5 a Euro 2 and 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3, which commit forwards and wingers high up the pitch. Wide formations allow the attacking team to stretch play and cause the defending team to cover more ground. Teams may change formations during a game to aid their cause, change to attacking formations. When chasing a game for a desirable result, teams tend to sacrifice a defensive player or a midfield player for a forward in order to chase a result. An example of such a change is a change from 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 to 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2, 3 a Euro 5 a Euro 2 to 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3, or even 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 to 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3. Change to defensive formations. When a team is in the lead, or wishes to protect the scoreline of a game, the coach may choose to revert to a more defensive structure by removing a forward for a more defensive player. The extra player in defense or midfield adds solidity by giving the team more legs to chase opponents and recover possession. An example of such a change is a change from 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 to 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2, 3 a Euro 5 a Euro 2 to 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 or even 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 to 5 a Euro 4 a Euro 1. Formations can be deceptive in analyzing a particular team's style of play. For instance, a team that plays a nominally attacking 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 formation can quickly revert to a 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 if a coach instructs two of the three forwards to track back in midfield. Early days, in the football matches of the 19th century defensive football was not played, and the lineups reflected the all attacking nature of these games. In the first international game, Scotland against England on November 30, 1872, England played with seven or eight forwards in a 1 a Euro 1 a Euro 8 or 1 a Euro 2 a Euro 7 formation, and Scotland with six, in a 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 6 formation. For England, one player would remain in defence, picking up loose balls and one or two players would hang around midfield and kick the ball upheeled for the other players to chase. The English style of play at the time was all about individual excellence and English players were renowned for their dribbling skills. 
players would attempt to take the ball forward as far as possible and only when they could proceed no further, would they kick it ahead for someone else to chase. Scotland surprised England by actually passing the ball among players. The Scottish outfield players were organised into pairs and each player would always attempt to pass the ball to his assigned partner. Ironically, with so much attention given to attacking play, the game ended in a 0 a Euro 0 draw. Classic formations, 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 5. The first long-term successful formation was first recorded in 1880. However, in association football published by Caxton in 1960, the following appears in Vol 2, page 432, Wrexham. The first winner of the Welsh Cup in 1877. For the first time certainly in Wales and probably in Britain, a team played three half-backs and five forwards. The 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 5 was originally known as the Pyramid, with the numerical formation being referenced retrospectively. By the 1890s, it was the standard formation in England and had spread all over the world. With some variations, it was used by most top-level teams up to the 1940s. For the first time, a balance between attacking and defending was reached. When defending, the two defenders, would zonally marked the opponent forwards, meanwhile the midfielders would fill the gaps. The centre half-back had a key role in both helping to organise the team's attack and marking the opponent's centre forward, supposedly one of their most dangerous players. It was this formation which gave rise to the convention of shirt numbers. Danubian School The Danubian School of Football is a modification of the 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 5 formation in which the centre forward plays in a more withdrawn position. As played by the Austrians, Czechs, and Hungarians in the 1920s, it was taken to its peak by the Austrians in the 1930s. It relied on short passing and individual skills. This school was heavily influenced by the likes of Hugo Meisel and Jimmy Hogan, the English coach who visited Austria at the time. Matido The Matido was devised by Vittorio Pozzo, coach of the Italian national team in the 1930s. It was a derivation of the Danubian school. The system was based on the 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 5 formation. Pozzo realized that his half-backs would need some more support in order to be superior to the opponent's midfield so he pulled two of the forwards to just in front of midfield, creating a 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 formation. This created a stronger defence than previous systems, as well as allowing effective counter-attacks. The Italian national team won back-to-back -back World Cups in 1934 and 1938 using this system. It has been argued that Pep Guardiola's Barcelona used a modern version of this formation. This formation is also similar to the standard in table football, featuring two defenders, five midfielders and three strikers. WM The WM system was created in the mid-1920s by Herbert Chapman of Arsenal to counter a change in the offside law in 1925. The change had reduced the number of opposition players that attackers needed between themselves and the goal line from three to two. This led to the introduction of a centre-back to stop the opposing centre-forward, and tried to balance defensive and offensive playing. The formation became so successful that by the late 1930s most English clubs had adopted the WM. Retrospectively, the WM has either been described as a 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 5 or as a 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3, or more precisely a 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 reflecting the letters which symbolised it. The gap in the centre of the formation between the two wing halves and the two inside forwards allowed Arsenal to counter-attack effectively. The WM was subsequently adapted by several English sides, but none could apply it in quite the same way Chapman had. This was mainly due to the comparative rarity of Alex James in the English game. He was one of the earliest playmakers in the history of the game, and the hub around which Chapman's Arsenal revolved. WW the WW was a development of the WM created by the Hungarian coach Marton Bukovi who turned the 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 5 WM into a 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 by effectively turning the M upside down. The lack of an effective centre forward in his team necessitated moving this player back to midfield to create a playmaker, with a midfielder instructed to focus on defence. 
This created a 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 a Euro 4, which morphed into a 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 when the team lost possession, and was described by some as a kind of genetic link between the WM and the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4. This formation was successfully used by fellow countryman Gustav E. Siebes in the Hungarian national team of the early 1950s. 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 4 the 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 4 formation was similar to the WW, with the notable exception of having an inside forward deployed as a midfield schemer alongside the two wing halves. This formation would be commonplace during the 1950s and early 1960s. One of the best exponents of the system was the Tottenham Hotspur double winning side of 1961, which deployed a midfield of Danny Blanchflower, John White and Dave Mackay. FC Porto won the 2005 Euro 06 Portuguese National Championship using this unusual formation under manager Coad Rince. 4 Euro 2 Euro 4 The 4 Euro 2 Euro 4 formation attempts to combine a strong attack with a strong defence, and was conceived as a reaction to WM's stiffness. It could also be considered a further development of the WW. The 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 was the first formation to be described using numbers. While the initial developments leading to the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 were devised by Marto N. Bukovi, the credit for creating the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 lies with two different people, Flavio Costa, the Brazilian national coach in the early 1950s, as well as another Hungarian bar copyright La Gutmann. These tactics seem to be developed independently with the Brazilians discussing these ideas while the Hungarians seemed to be putting them into motion. The fully developed 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 was only perfected in Brazil, however, in the late 1950s. Costa published his ideas, The Diagonal System, in the Brazilian newspaper O Cruzeiro, using schematics as the ones used here and, for the first time ever, the formation description by numbers as used in this article. The diagonal system was another precursor of the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 and was created to spur improvisation in players. Gutmann himself moved to Brazil later in the 1950s to help develop these tactical ideas using the experience of Hungarian coaches. The 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 formation made use of the players' increasing levels of skill and fitness, aiming to effectively use six defenders and six forwards, with the midfielders performing both tasks. The fourth defender increased the number of defensive players but mostly allowed them to be closer together, thus enabling effective cooperation among them, the point being that a stronger defense would allow an even stronger attack. The relatively empty midfield relied on defenders that should now be able not only to steal the ball, but also hold it, pass it or even run with it and start an attack. So this formation required that all players, including defenders, are somehow skillful and with initiative making it a perfect fit for the Brazilian player's mind. The 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 needed a high level of tactical awareness, as having only two midfielders could lead to defensive problems. The system was also fluid enough to allow the formation to change throughout play. 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 was first used with success at club level in Brazil by Palmeiras and Santos, and was used by Brazil in their wins at 1958 World Cup and 1970 World Cup both featuring Pella Copyright, and Mario Zagallo, the latter of which played in 1958 and coached in 1970. The formation was quickly adopted throughout the world after the Brazilian success. Common modern formations, the following formations are used in modern football. The formations are flexible allowing tailoring to the needs of a team, as well as to the players available. Variations of any given formation include changes in positioning of players, as well as replacement of a traditional defender by a sweeper. For a Euro for a Euro 2, this formation was the most common in football in the 1990s and early 2000s, so well known that it has even inspired a magazine title, 442. The midfielders are required to work hard to support both the defense and the attack. Typically one of the central midfielders is expected to go uphill as often as possible to support the forward pair, while the other will play a holding role, shielding the defence. The two wide midfield players must move up the flanks to the goal line in attacks and yet also protect the full-back wide defenders. On the European level, 
The major example of a team using a 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 formation was Milan, trained by Arago Sacchi and later Fabio Capello, which won three European Cups, two Intercontinental Cups, and three UEFA Super Cups between 1988 and 1995. Under Milan's example, it became very popular in Italy in the late 1980s and early 1990s. More recently, commentators have noted that at the highest level, the 4 Euro 4 Euro 2 is being phased out in favor of formations such as the 4 Euro 2 Euro 3 Euro 1. In 2010, none of the winners of the Spanish, English and Italian leagues, as well as the Champions League, relied on the 4 Euro 4 Euro 2. Following England's elimination at the 2010 World Cup by a 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 Germany side, England national team coach Fabio Capello was criticised for playing an increasingly outdated 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 formation. 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 1, a variation of 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 with one of the strikers playing in the hole, or as a second striker, slightly behind their partner. The second striker is generally a more creative player the playmaker, who can drop into midfield to pick up the ball before running with it or passing to teammates. Interpretations of 4 Euro 4 Euro 1 Euro 1 can be slightly muddled, as some might say that the extent to which a Ford has dropped off and separated himself from the other can be debated. The system was most prominently used during the 2009 October season by Fulham FC, with midfielder Zoltan Gera playing behind forward Bobby Zamora as they upset many teams across Europe on their way to the 2010 Europa League final. For a Euro 3 a Euro 3, the 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 was a development of the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4, and was played by the Brazilian national team in the 1962 World Cup. The extra player in midfield allows a stronger defence, and the midfield could be staggered for different effects. The three midfielders normally play closely together to protect the defence, and move laterally across the field as a coordinated unit. The three forwards split across the field to spread the attack, and may be expected to mark the opposition full-backs as opposed to doubling back to assist their own full-backs, as do the wide midfielders in a 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2. When used from the start of a game, this formation is widely regarded as encouraging expansive play, and should not be confused with the practice of modifying a 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 by bringing on an extra forward to replace a midfield player when behind in the latter stages of a game. This formation is suited for a short passing game and useful for ball retention. A staggered 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 involving a defensive midfielder and two attacking midfielders was commonplace in Italy, Argentina, and Uruguay during the 1960s and 1970s. The Italian variety of 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 was simply a modification of WM, by converting one of the two wing halves to a libro, whereas the Argentine and Uruguayan formations were derived from 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 5 and retained the notional attacking centre half. The national team which made this famous was the Dutch team of the 1974-1978 World Cups, even though the team won neither. In club football, the team that brought this formation to the forefront was the famous Ajax team of the early 1970s, which won three European Cups with Joe and Kroof, and Zdenek Zeman with Foggia in Italy during the late 1980s, where he completely revitalized the movement supporting this formation. It was also the formation with which Norwegian manager Nils Arnegen won 15 Norwegian league titles. Most teams using this formation now use the specialist defensive midfielder and Barcelona are the most famous recent example. 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 a Euro 2, a variation of the 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 wherein a striker gives way to a central attacking midfielder. This formation was adopted by Massimiliano Allegri for the 2010 a Euro 11 Serie A season for Milan. The formation focuses on the attacking midfielder moving play through the centre with the strikers on either side. It is a much narrower setup in comparison to the 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 and is usually incredibly dependent on the one to create chances. 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 Diamond or 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 2, the 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 Diamond staggers the midfield. The width in the team has to come from the fullbacks pushing forward. The defensive midfielder is sometimes used as a deep-lying playmaker. Its most famous example was Carlo Ancelotti's Milan, 
which won the 2003 UEFA Champions League final and made Milan runners-up in 2005. Milan was obliged to adopt this formation so as to field talented central midfielder Andrea Plo, in a period when the position of offensive midfielder was occupied by Rui Costa and later Kaka. This tactic was gradually abandoned by Milan after Andrea Shevchenko's departure in 2006, progressively adopting a Christmas tree formation. For a Euro 1 a Euro 3 a Euro 2, the 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 is a variation of the 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 and features a strong and talented defensive centre midfielder. This allows the remaining three midfielders to play farther forward and more aggressively, and also allows them to pass back to their defensive mid when setting up a play or recovering from a counter-attack. The 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 gives a strong presence in the forward middle of the pitch and is considered to be an attacking formation. Opposing teams with fast wingers and strong passing abilities can try to overwhelm the 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 with fast attacks on the wings of the pitch before the three offensive midfielders can fall back to help their defensive line. Valerie Lobanovsky is one of the most famous exponents of the formation, using it with Dynamo Kiev, winning three European trophies in the process. Another example of the 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 in use was the English national team at the 1966 FIFA World Cup, managed by Alf Ramsey. 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 1, the 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 a Euro 1, commonly described as the Christmas tree formation has another forward brought on for a midfielder to play in the hole, so leaving two forwards slightly behind the most forward striker. Terry Venables and Christian Gross used this formation during their time in charge of Tottenham Hotspur. Since then the formation has lost its popularity in England. It is however most known for being the formation Carlo Ancelotti utilised on and off during his time as a coach of Milan. In this approach, the middle of the three central midfielders act as a playmaker while one of the attacking midfielders plays in a free role. However, it is also common for the three midfielders to be energetic shuttlers, providing for the individual talent of the two attacking midfielders ahead. The Christmas tree formation is considered a relatively narrow formation and depends on fullbacks to provide presence in wide areas. The formation is also relatively fluid. During open play, one of the side's central midfielders may drift to the flank to add additional presence. 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2, this formation has three central defenders this system is heavily reliant on the wing backs providing width for the team. The two wide full backs act as wing backs. It is their job to work their flank along the full length of the pitch, supporting both the defence and the attack. 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 with sweeper or 1 a Euro 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 2. A variant of the 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2, this involves a more withdrawn sweeper, who may join the midfield, and more advanced full backs. 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3, using a 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3, the midfielders are expected to split their time between attacking and defending. Having only three dedicated defenders means that if the opposing team breaks through the midfield, they will have a greater chance to score than with a more conventional defensive configuration such as 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 or 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2. However, the three forwards allow for a greater concentration on attack. This formation is used by more offensive-minded teams. The formation was famously used by Liverpool under Rafael Benitez during the second half of the 2005 UEFA Champions League final to come back from a three-goal deficit. 3 a Euro 5 a Euro 2 this formation is similar to 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 except that the two wingmen are oriented more towards the attack. Because of this, the central midfielder tends to remain further back in order to help prevent counter-attacks. It differs from the classical 3 a Euro 5 a Euro 2 of the WW by having a non-staggered midfield. It was used for the first time at international level by the Argentine coach Carlos Bailado. Terry Venables notably used this formation during England's campaign in Euro 96, with Gareth Southgate or Pauling acting as defensive midfielder. Many teams also use a central attacking midfielder and two defensive midfielders, so the midfielders form a W formation. Sebastian Pound Olazerone used this formation for Brazil during the unsuccessful participation to the 1990 FIFA World Cup. 
although it had fallen out of favor with most coaches who now prefer four at the back, it has recently had a renaissance in both club and international football. At club level, it has been effectively used by Juventus coach Antonio Conte under whom Juventus won three back-to-back -back Scudetti between 2012 and 2014. At international level, it has been used as an alternate formation on two notable occasions to nullify the challenge of possession football used by a Spanish national side. Ser Prandelli used it for the Italy's 1 Euro 1 draw with Spain in the group stage of UEFA Euro 2012 with some commentators seeing Daniel de Rossi as a sweeper. The Netherlands used it to greater effect against Spain during the group stage of the 2014 FIFA World Cup, completing a 5-1 win. 3 a Euro 6 a Euro 1, this uncommon modern formation focuses on ball possession in the midfield. In fact, it is very rare to see it as an initial formation, as it is more useful for maintaining a lead or tie score. Its more common variants are 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 or 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3 diamond, which use two wing backs. The lone Ford must be tactically gifted, not only because he or she focuses on scoring but also on playing the ball back towards the own goal to assist with back passes to his teammates. Once the team is leading the game, there is an even stronger tactical focus on ball control, short passes and running down the clock. On the other hand, when the team is losing, at least one of the playmakers will more frequently play in the edge of the area to add depth to the attack. GUUS Hiding is one of the few coaches who has used this formation, recently for Australia during the 2006 FIFA World Cup, for a Euro 5 a Euro 1, for a Euro 5 a Euro 1 is a defensive formation. However, if the two midfield wingers play a more attacking role, it can be likened to for a Euro 3 a Euro 3. The formation can be used to grind out 0 a Euro 0 draws or preserve a lead, as the packing of the centre midfield makes it difficult for the opposition to build up play. Because of the closeness of the midfield, the opposing team's forwards will often be starved of possession. Due to the lone striker, however, the centre of the midfield does have the responsibility of pushing forward as well. The defensive midfielder will often control the pace of the game. Dick Advocat used the very same formation for the Russian national team twice in the UEFA Euro 2012 Group A tournament, first time in the game against Poland, and second time against Greece. For a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1, this formation is widely used by Spanish, French and German sides. While it seems defensive to the eye, it is quite a flexible formation, as both the wide players and the full-backs join the attack. In defense, this formation is similar to either the 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 or 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 1. It is used to maintain possession of the ball and stopping opponent attacks by controlling the midfield area of the field. The lone striker may be very tall and strong to hold the ball up as his midfielders and fullbacks join him in attack. The striker could also be very fast. In these cases, the opponent's defense will be forced to fall back early thereby leaving space for the offensive central midfielder. This formation is used especially when a playmaker is to be highlighted. The variations of personnel used on the flanks in this setup include using traditional wingers, using inverted wingers or simply using wide midfielders. At the international level, this formation is used by the French national team, the Dutch national team and the German national team in an asymmetric shape and often with strikers as wide midfielders or inverted wingers. The formation is also currently used by Brazil as an alternative to the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 formation of the late 1950s to 1970. Implemented similarly to how original 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 was used back then, use of this formation in this manner is very offensive, creating a six-man attack and a six-man defense tactical layout. The front four attackers are arranged as a pair of wide forwards and a playmaker forward who play in support of a lone striker. Mario Zagallo also considers the Brazil 1970 football team he coached as pioneers of 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1. In recent years with fullbacks having ever more increasing attacking roles, the wide players have been tasked with a defensive responsibility to track and pin down the opposition fullbacks. This formation has been very frequently used by managers all over the world in the modern game. 
one particularly effective use of it was Liverpool FC. Under Rafael Benitez, who deployed Javier Mascherano, Xabi Alonso and Steven Gerrard in central midfield, with Gerrard acting in a more advanced role in order to link up with Fernando Torres, who acted as the central striker. Another notable example at club level is Bayern Munich under Jupp Hinks. For a Euro 6 a Euro 0, a highly unconventional formation, the 4 a Euro 6 a Euro 0 is an evolution of the 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 in which the centre forward is exchanged for a player who normally plays as a triquetista. Suggested as a possible formation for the future of football, the formation sacrifices an out-and-out -out striker for the tactical advantage of a mobile front for attacking from a position that the opposition defenders cannot mark without being pulled out of position. Owing to the intelligence and pace required by the front four attackers to create and attack any space left by the opposition defenders, however, the formation requires a very skillful and well-drilled front four. Due to these high requirements from the attackers, and the novelty of playing without a proper goal scorer, the formation has been adopted by very few teams, and rarely consistently. As with the development of many formations, the origins and originators are uncertain but arguably the first reference to a professional team adopting a similar formation is Angel Ioda Florinescu's Romania in the 1994 World Cup round of 16, when Romania won 3 a Euro 2 against Argentina. The first team to adopt the formation systematically was Luciano Spalletti's Roma side during the 2005 a Euro 06 Serie A season, mostly out of necessity as his strikerless formation and then notably by Alex Ferguson's Manchester United side in the 2007-08 Euro Premier League season. The formation was unsuccessfully used by Craig Levine's Scotland vs Czech Republic to widespread condemnation. At UEFA Euro 2012, Spain coach Vicente Del Bosque used the 4 a Euro 6 a Euro 0 for his sides won a Euro 1 group stage draw versus Italy and therefore a Euro 0 win versus Italy in the final of the tournament. 5 a Euro 4 a Euro 1, this is a particularly defensive formation, with an isolated forward and a packed defence. Again, however, a couple of attacking fullbacks can make this formation resemble something like a 3 a Euro 6 a Euro 1. One of the most famous cases of its use is the Greek national team, 1 a Euro 6 a Euro 3, the 1 a Euro 6 a Euro 3 formation was first utilized by Japan at the behest of General Yoshijiro Umizu in 1936. Famously, Japan defeated the heavily favored Swedish team 3 a Euro 2 at the 1936 Olympics with the unorthodox 1 a Euro 6 a Euro 3 formation, before going down 0 a Euro 8 to Italy. The formation was dubbed the Kamikaze Formation sometime in the 1960s when former U.S. national team player Walter Barr used it for a limited number of games as coach of the Philadelphia Spartans to garner greater media and fan attention for the struggling franchise. For a Euro 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 2, often referred to as the Magic Rectangle, or Magic Square. It's been used in France in the 80s and a whole generation, for Brazil with Tela Santana, Carlos Alberto Pereira and Vandalai Luxembourgo, by Arturo Sela and Manuel Pellegrini in Chile and Francisco Maturana in Colombia. The magic rectangle is formed by combining two box-to-box -box midfielders with two deep-lying forwards across the midfield. This provides a balance in the distribution of possible moves and adds a dynamic quality to midfield play. This formation was used by former Real Madrid manager Manuel Pellegrini and met with considerable praise. Pellegrini also used this formation whilst at Villarreal and Malaga. The formation is closely related to a 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 4 previously used by Fernando Riera, Pellegrini's mentor, and that can be traced back to Chile in 1962 who adopted it from the Frenchman Albert Bata at the Stade de Reims of 50s. Also before in the Real Madrid, this formation was most infamously used by Wanderley Luxembourgo during his failed stint at Real Madrid in the latter part of the 2004-05 season and throughout the 2005-06 season. This formation has been described as being deeply flawed, and suicidal. Luxembourgo was not the only one to use this although it had been used earlier by Brazil in the early 1980s. At first Tela Santana, then Carlos Alberto Pereira and Vandalai Luxemburgo proposed basing the magic rectangle on the work of the wing-backs. 
the rectangle becomes a 3 a Euro 4 a Euro 3 on the attack because one of the wing backs moves downfield. In another sense, the Colombian 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 is closely related to the 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 2 diamond of Brazil, style different from the French Chilean trend and is based on the complementation of a box to box with 10 classic. Emphasizes the triangulation, but especially in the surprise of attack. The 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 formation consists of the standard defensive 4, with two center midfielders, two support strikers, and two out and out strikers. Similar to the 4 a Euro 6 a Euro 0, the formation requires a particularly alert and mobile front 4 to work successfully. The formation has also been used on occasion by the Brazilian national team, notably in the 1998 FIFA World Cup final. 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 a Euro 3, the 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 was formed of a modification to the Dutch 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 system Ajax had developed. Coaches like Louis van Gaal and Johan Cruyff brought it to even further attacking extremes and the system eventually found its way to FC Barcelona, where players such as Andrew Copyright S. Iniesta and Xavi were reared into 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 a Euro 3's philosophy. It demands intense pressing high up the pitch especially from the forwards, and also an extremely high defensive line, basically playing the whole game inside the opponent's half. It requires incredible technical precision and rapid ball circulation since one slip or dispossession can result in a vulnerable counter-attack situation. Kroof's variant relied on a flatter and wider midfield, but Van Gaal used an offensive midfielder and midfield diamond to link up with the front three more effectively. Marcelo Bielsa has used the system with some success with Argentina's and Chile's national teams and is currently one of the few high-profile managers to use the system in competition today. Diego Simeone had also tried it occasionally at River Plate. 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 1, the triple 3-1 system is very attacking formation and its compact nature is ideally suited for midfield domination and ball possession. It means a coach can field more attacking players and add extra strength through the spine of the team. The attacking three are usually two wing backs or wide midfielders with a central player of the three occupying a central attacking midfield or second striker role behind the centre forward. The midfield three consists of two centre midfielders ahead of one central defensive midfielder or alternatively one CM and two CDMs. The defensive three can consist of three centre backs or one CB with a full back either side. The 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 3 a Euro 1 formation was used by Marcelo Bielsa's Chile in the 2010 World Cup, with three centre backs coupled with two wing backs and a holding player, although a variation is the practical hourglass, using three wide players, a narrow three, a wide three, and a centre forward. 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3. The somewhat unconventional 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 formation was developed by Jose Copyright Moreno during his time at Internazional including in the 2010 UEFA Champions League final. By using Captain Javier's Netti and Esteban Cambiasso in holding midfield positions, he was able to push more players to attack. Wesley Snyder filled the attacking midfield role and the front three operated as three strikers, rather than having a striker and one player on each wing. Using this formation, Mourinho won the treble with Inter in only his second season in charge of the club. As the system becomes more developed and flexible, small groups can be identified to work together in more efficient ways by giving them more specific and different roles within the same lines, and numbers like 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3, 4 a Euro 1 a Euro 2 a Euro 3 and even 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 a Euro 2 occur. Many of the current systems have three different formations in each third, defending, middle, and attacking. The goal is to outnumber the other team in all parts of the field but to not completely wear out all the players on the team using it before the full 90 minutes are up. So the one single number is confusing as it may not actually look like a 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3 when a team is defending or trying to gain possession. In a positive attack it may look exactly like a 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 1 a Euro 3. In complete formations, when a player is sent off, the teams generally fall back to defensive formations such as 4 a Euro 4 a Euro 1 or 5 a Euro 3 a Euro 1. 
only when facing a negative result will a team with 10 players play in a risky attacking formation such as 4 a Euro 3 a Euro 2 or even 4 a Euro 2 a Euro 3. When more than one player is missing from the team the common formations are generally disbanded in favor of either maximum concentration on defense, or maximum concentration on attack. See also, Association Football Tactics and Skills, Association Football Positions, Catanaccio, Total Football, References. External links, Introduction to Formations at BBC Sport. The Development of Early Formations from National Soccer Coaches Association of America